Hosted by Rocket Promotion. Here's a look. So Lisa, talk to us a little bit about the Tastemakers Lounge. So this is the 11th year of the Tastemakers Lounge. We started this with the idea that tip talent weren't necessarily being gifted the way they were in the States. You know, you see these film festivals and awards shows, and gift lounges are a great way to not only um, sort of showcase your product to some really influential people, but also elevate it with the media. So we wanted to take that opportunity to um, give Canadian brands a, a platform. So what brings you to the Tastemakers Lounge today? Well, I've always been a big fan of the Tastemakers Lounge. I've been invited almost every year and um, a couple years I've had films in the festival and come and it's just a great place to be able to come and relax. And of course, you're on Orphan Black, so talk to us a little bit about your experience and the character you play. Well, the character I play is uh, very different from who I am, which I love. She's quite evil. She's done some pretty crazy things, like sew her daughter's lips shut. And oh, wow. It's a great experience on Orphan Black. Everybody's amazing. And it's a real um, team feel there. Like, everybody's really working towards a great product, and it shows on screen. And last but not least, what's your favorite thing about the Toronto International Film Festival? Probably just the influx of talent and people that come into the city. You can really feel the energy and the buzz in Toronto during TIFF. Uh, it's really exciting. That's it for this episode of On the Scene Network. I'm Daryl Roy. Thanks for watching. For more entertainment updates, subscribe on YouTube, as well as watch us on AOL and Huffington Post.